Hey, what is up, guys? Wicked95 here, back with another video. Welcome to Wicked Sex Figure Reviews, and today I am back with Figure of the Week. This is week number 34 here on the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the first uh, Legends figure uh, from Legends Series 7. Um, when I first saw this uh, series in stores, I thought like they had like some stock in the back. I didn't think that they were barely going to start hitting, but you know, as soon as I saw them, I picked them up. Uh, little did I know that they were gonna be there for a bit, um, because that Legend series, seven, uh, Legend series six was the last uh, Legend series that they did, and then they stopped for a bit, and then they brought it back. Uh, but so I was like, oh, maybe these these are like old. So I picked them up, um, and I didn't really get much of a choice uh, in what kind of packaging I, I got because they were all beat up. That's the reason why I thought that maybe they had just some in the back stock and they took them out just to sell them. Uh, since they were kind of like damaged or what, whatever, you know. But um, then I started seeing them more in stores and I never picked them up um, until later. Uh, I finished the set with the Greg the Hammer Valentine. But uh, I only picked up the Racer and the Heenan at the time. Um, I probably actually picked up the Heenan full price and this one was the 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 warmer this the peg warmer of the set Bobby the Brain Heenan and then you also get uh Greg the Hammer Valentine as well and uh he is the chase in this set and of course the one that we're taking a look at right now is Razor Ramon there you have a picture of Razor and all of the like info right there Razor right there Razor right there pretty sick I like this Razor uh the blue pops really well the, the shirt and everything you get the the, the walking in hands or the often palm hands the face uh the face again i think it's the same as the defining moments which i do have so we can compare here in a bit but it's a pretty good figure the the starting point of the legend series um moving forward was this set right here legend series seven um i didn't collect really the leg the legends figures before these except for the eddie and I've talked about it here on the channel various times that I ordered that one by accident. And it's been since one of my favorite figures in my entire collection. <clears throat> but this set, curiously, uh, this set was supposed to have the Sting in, in the set. Because if you really look at it, the Legends series have had four uh, superstars in them, or Legends. Uh, and this time we had Razor, Bobby, uh, Greg the Hammer. And we were supposed to have Sting. This is the only set that only has three superstars in it. Um, the rest has four. But this this was when Sting, uh, I guess, left. And uh, I know there's a prototype out there because I remember seeing the the t Comic Con New York, I think, in the Major Pod uh, Network when they went to see the new upcoming Mattels and they talked about the Legends and the Sting was there, the Crow Sting, but. Um, I don't know what after that they were supposed to release him, but he left or he got released. I don't remember what the situation was and Sting uh, left the company. So his figure was was left there. But either way, guys, this razor is just sick right here. Um, I don't know how much they retail right now, but these were were like what at the time nineteen ninety nine or eighteen ninety nine, seventeen ninety nine, I believe at the time. Now they're like twenty three bucks an elite, but um, yeah, nineteen ninety nine. I'm pretty sure this figure is going for like maybe thirty dollars, maybe a little bit more. I'm not really sure. I didn't check the market price before this video, but it's uh since it is an older series, Legend Six Seven. It's been ten ten already. I think we're in what seventeen already. So yeah, it's pretty expensive. Um, here is the defining moments. Um, Razor Ramon to compare. I do have him loose. I bought this guy like at Fry's or something. I don't remember, but it came with the Intercontinental Championship. It does come with the same change that it looked to be like the same mold. The same mold of the vest, except painted differently. Same um, knee pads and elbow pads, but different colors. Same for the trunks. And of course, it has this one's all like purple, purple pinkish, and that one's all blue. So. Oh yeah, the head scan though. Let's see the head scan. Mm, 
it is the same head skin except this one has more of a darker beard a darker beard you can see it a little bit more i kind of like that head skin better than this one but um we do we are getting or we are already in shelves the uh the three pack with razor ramon one two three kid and the undertaker and he has a green a uh, gear and then we're also getting two ultimates the um the purple one i guess it's like a re-release of this one and then there's a yellow one on the ultimate edition so it's going to be a chase and the ultimate so um i am definitely picking those up as well hopefully i get lucky enough and get like two chases because i will be needing one to have in my shelf and opening it so yeah uh, more reviews coming soon guys uh ultimate edition brock ultimate edition warrior um I'm, wor I'm gonna be working on those i don't know when those are gonna be up because i do have plenty of more uh videos to go through um so probably gonna see those later on but yeah make sure to go follow my follow my instagram for more link in the description make sure to uh, like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one